Yo guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to episode 11 of our Leicester City career mode here on FIFA 20. In today's episode, we start at home to Norwich and then we are going to the Etihad to take on Manchester City. Last four games have been really patchy. A loss, a win, a loss and then a win away at Aston Villa. So I'm hoping we can get onto a good run of form and at least turn those losses into draws because if it was a draw win draw win it's obviously better than two losses but we do have some very tough games that are coming up including this Norwich game because they currently sit in fourth place so they've had a very good opening 16 matches but we are level on points with them 26 but Norwich scored 21 conceded 15 so they are having a very very good season but let's kick off today's episode at home to Norwich and see if we can climb above them by picking up three points Gray on the ball. Oh my god, what was that? It's gone straight to a Norwich man. Now into Amadou. Shot into McLean. Brilliant save. Down low to his right hand side from Casper Smichael. 21 minutes gone. And that is the closest anyone has come to scoring. Corner kick incoming from Norwich. They play it short here to Roberts. Can we make a tackle? Yes, we can. Damari Gray short into Ndidi, who's going to make me a decent run over the top to Jamie Vardy. And it's a very good pass. Decent first touch as well. I'm going to play it short to Iosi Perez. Vardy. Perez once again. Okay, it's gone into Damari Gray. And it's a good tackle from McLean. And they just hoof the ball away. And we do win it back immediately. 25 minutes gone. So far, I would have to say Norwich have been the better side. But we are now trying to get an attack going of our own. Ndidi up to Jamie Vardy. First time to Perez. Brilliant play. Brilliant turn. Iosi Perez over the crossbar that is the closest we've come to scoring absolutely brilliant play but unfortunately the finish goes high over the crossbar and it's a goal kick to the away side Palacios on the ball for Norwich who's been heavily involved short into McLean from Pukki it's a decent run from McLean no pressure at the moment and he plays it back to Aaron's McLean once again Amadou McLean, Norwich have played some very good football in this game, but they're not really creating any chances. Aaron's backwards to McLean across in, and Suyunshu gets it away only as far as Franchik. In quite a lot of space there, McLean, Amadou, Puki. Oh, it's nearly a great pass. It is a great pass to Palacios, and it falls back to Palacios. 38 minutes gone, and Norwich have taken the lead. Just like that. It was decent build-up play. They kept the ball for... Quite a long time there. And Puki, I didn't think at first it was a good pass. But then I saw Palacios' run. And it was a very good pass from Puki. And it luckily falls back to him. Very good save from Kasper Michael once again. And it's basically an open goal for the Norwich man. How many goals has he got? It's his third Premier League goal of the season. 38 minutes gone. Leicester City nil. Norwich City won. Tielemans forward to Jamie Vardy and Aaron's with the interception. Five minutes left to play of the 90. We've been on a patchy run of form recently. The last four games, we've had two wins and two losses. But it's been win, loss, win, loss. Or the other way around. It really doesn't matter. But yeah, we've been on a really, really patchy run. So I'm really hoping we can pick up three points here and it will set us on to a good run of wins. Damari Gray short into Madison. Does Jamie Vardy want to make me that run? He doesn't. Left hand side is Damari Gray. I do have the instructions on Jamie Vardy. So why the hell is he not running beyond the defence? That is so frustrating. He's, he's coming short. Why? The instructions is to get in behind. And he's hardly ever doing it. If he'd done it on a regular basis, we could score quite a few goals. And it's really, really annoying me. But it does look like we are going into the break. 1-0 down or is it going to be 2-0 is there time for one last attack I don't think there is half time whistle comes and Norwich are 1-0 up at the break 
Franchik on the ball for Norwich and quite a bit of space. What a pass into Puki, but thankfully the finish goes wide of the target. Absolutely brilliant backheeled pass from the Norwich man, but thankfully it's a goal kick. But a very good start to the second half from Norwich. So Yunshu for to Jamie Vardy. It's a decent pass surrounded by Norwich players, but we do get a pass out here to Damari Gray. Oh, it's fantastic play. Short into Jamie Vardy. Back into Gray. Doesn't work out. I don't think it was going to Gray anyway. I think it might have been going to Perez, but we do get a corner out of it. 64 minutes gone. Our best spell for a very long time. It's a decent delivery. Does get cleared away only as far as Tielemans. Great first touch. And it's a very good strike, but what a save from the Norwich goalkeeper. 65 minutes gone, another corner kick incoming. Falls to Tielemans once again, just behind him is Johnny Evans. Right-hand side is James Madison. And Lewis with a very good tackle and good fray. Just gets the ball away, but I am going to make a couple of changes. I think we're going to bring Ricardo Pereira off for Christian Tello. And we're going to bring Perez off for Ian Acho. Tielemans with the throw-in into Christian Tello. Madison back into Ndidi. Now Madison, okay. It's a fantastic pass into Jamie Vardy. Madison to his right-hand side as Ndidi. Through here to Tielemans. Great first touch. And a very good block. And the Norwich man does the smart thing. And it's going to actually stay in because of the spin on the ball. Ndidi, Christian Tello, Ian Acho. It's a lovely one-two. First time cross into Jamie Vardy. A header towards goal. And guess what? A header has gone miles over the crossbar. What a shocker. Brilliant delivery from Christian Tello. But yeah, dreadful header. Ian Acho on the ball. Short into Tielemans. Left-hand side is Gray. Now Madison. Forward to Jamie Vardy. Brilliant play. Up to Ian Acho. Onto his right foot. Beautifully done. Ian Acho. Simple save for the goalkeeper. Poor finish. No power on it whatsoever. And it's a very simple save for the goalkeeper. Tielemans into Ian Acho once again. Again, a very good turn. Ian Acho. And it's comfortably over the crossbar. But the subs have had an instant impact. We have been completely different since that double sub. And we're going to bring our last sub on. Harvey Barnes for Damari Gray. McLean on the ball for Norwich. They've been playing some very good football. A shot towards goal low into the bottom corner. And thankfully, it's a very smart save from Casper Smeichel. Right, Harvey Barnes, Tiedemans. Forward to Jamie Vardy. And guess what? It doesn't work out. Three minutes left to play of the 90. And I think Norwich are going to be picking up all three points. Palacios into Aaron's. Oh, a lovely back heel. Norwich have played some very good football in this game. A cross goes in. And thankfully... It's going to be a corner. James Madison picking up our first yellow card of the game in the 90th minute. Okay, it's not a corner. It's a goal kick. So it was a bad miss from the Norwich man. But I think that is going to wrap up the game for a 1-0 loss. There's the full-time whistle. And it's ended in a win for Norwich. And I don't think they 100% deserve it, to be honest. It was a pretty even game. And I think it deserved to be a draw. But they took one of their chances... And we didn't. And that's the difference. Full-time result, Leicester City nil, Norwich City 1. for Manchester City not long gone in this game and Man City already have been playing some very good and quick football David Silva into Rodri brilliant save from Casper Schmeichel just over seven minutes gone and that is the first shot away at goal through the defender's legs didn't even try to block it Oh, God. Corner kick incoming. Ayozi oh, Perez gets it away. This is just going to be unbelievable pressure for 90 minutes from Man City, isn't it? They are so, so good. Nine minutes gone. Into David Silva. More of a simple save this time for Casper Michael, thankfully. And the score remains nil-nil. Tielemans on the ball. Decent pass into Ndidi. Right-hand side is Johnny Evans. Now Christian Tello. Forward to Ayozi Perez. Just behind him is Madison. And it's not going to find him. 
I don't know why it went to Jamie Vardy. I literally tapped the button because I saw James Madison just behind me making a forward run. So frustrating. Fernandinho, Alex Tells, back into the fullback. 15 minutes gone. Man City been head and shoulders above us. Aguero, forward here to David Silva. Now Rodri to his left-hand side is David Silva and Tielemans. Thankfully, gets in the way and Sterling nicks it away from me. And rightly so, Man City have taken the lead. What am I doing? I should have just cleared the ball away. Man City's pressing has been so high and so good. I should have just hoofed the ball away. Totally my fault. And Man City are leading. There, I should have just hoofed it. And Sterling nicks it away from me. And it's a very good finish from Aguero. Man City 1, Leicester City 0. And Didi on the ball out to Christian Tello on this right hand side. Oh, it's very good play from Christian Tello. He's gone past two players. Absolutely fantastic. Short into Jamie Vardy. Okay, it's gone into Damari Gray. Just behind him is Tielemans. Onto his left foot. Beautifully done, Tielemans. With our first attempt towards goal. And it's a poor one and a simple save for Edison. But a very good response after going 1 0 down. Fernandinho on the ball, decent passing to Rodri, brilliant block from Benkovic. Ten minutes left to play of the first half and Man City looking to double their lead. Corner kick incoming, it's a deep one, it's a decent one as well but Benkovic does get it away only as far as the Man City fullback on this right hand side. It's very good play and here he goes, very good run, Aguero, loads of space here for Rodri, what a save from Kasper Schmeichel. Absolutely brilliant save from the captain. Bullet of a strike. Corner kick once again incoming for the home side. Short into Sterling. Oh, he's completely dummy once again. Sterling is so good. And here he goes on a run. Short into Mtiti. Fernandinho. Man City are just too good. Let's just put it like that. On the ball, they are just too, too good. Rodri, loads of space here for Fernandinho. Now into Sterling. Oh, Smichael, what a save. With his feet, Sterling back on the ball, short into Rodri. And it's a decent finish from the midfield. And Man City have doubled their lead just before the break. Unbelievable. That's all I can say about Man City's on the ball performance in this game so far. Just so hard to deal with. Look at Rodri, no one on him. And it's a very good finish. Man City 2, Leicester City 0. Sterling charging down this left-hand side. We are definitely not going to catch him. Seconds left to play of the first half. Sterling is still going. Very good turn. Silva, Sterling, Alex Tells. Very good pass into David Silva. Look at the space here for Sergio Aguero. And just before the break, Man City have made the score 3-0. I am speechless. I mean, I know Man City are good, but damn, they have been absolutely incredible in this opening 45 minutes. The space Sergio Aguero had, I mean, you can't be giving someone like him that sort of space, especially in the box. And he's buried it, and it's 3-0 Man City at the break. We will wait for the half-time whistle, and there it is. Half-time, Man City are 3-0 up. Rodri on the ball for Man City. Very good pass into Silva. Now Bernardo Silva. Forward here to Sergio Aguero. Twisting and turning back into Bernardo Silva. Off the post. And Christian Tello gets the ball away. And we are going to keep it away. Decent header from Iosi Perez into Tielemans. All right. Benkovic out to that left-hand side. It's a very good pass. Great first touch from Damari Gray. Loads of space here for Tielemans. Right. We've got the ball. Let's make this pay by scoring a goal. Forward here to Christian Tello. And guess what? We've lost the ball. Can't break Man City down. They've just been too good. They have just been too, too good. David Silva on this left-hand side for Man City. Up against two players. And somehow he finds a teammate. Absolutely incredible. Rodri into Sergio Aguero. Brilliant save. Once again from Casper Schmeichel. Keeping us in... Well... I don't know why I'm saying keeping us in this game. We are 3-0 down and we are getting absolutely shredded apart. Corner kick incoming for the home side. It's not the best of deliveries and we do get it away. It's going to fall here to Jamie Vardy. He's got the pace to get past any Man City player. And here he goes. 
Can we get a goal back in this game? Jamie Vardy is still going. A brilliant run. And the final touch was just too heavy. And Edison gathers the ball up. Iheanacho won the ball. Very good pass out to Ricardo Pereira. Short into James Madison. Now Jamie Vardy to his left-hand side is Tielemans. Can we play it out here to Harvey Barnes? He's got fresh legs. We're going to turn inside. It's absolutely fantastic. Harvey Barnes, brilliant save. It's going to fall here to James Madison. It's going to fall now to Ndidi. Long-range strike. It falls now to Iheanacho. And Laporte with a very good tackle. That was very scrappy, but our best chance of the game. But it was a very good save from Edison. 15 minutes left to play, and yeah, I think it's safe to say all three points are wrapped up for Man City. Rodri on the ball for Man City into David Silva. Rodri once again. Is he going to find David Silva? It luckily does, and here he is on the ball, the Spanish international. David Silva again on his left foot. What a save from Kasper Schmeichel. I really have lost count of how many times I've said that this season. And in this game, to be honest, he's made quite a few brilliant saves. And that is the pick of the bunch. Ten minutes left to play. Man City get a corner. It's not the best of deliveries. And we do clear it away. But it's going to fall to David Silva. Forward to Rodri. And are we going to make a tackle here? Yes, we do. Tielemans wins it back for us. Right. Can we break away with Jamie Vardy? He's got the pace. All right. We're going to play it short into Ian Acho. Right-hand side is Ricardo Pereira. First time into James Madison. And it's a fantastic pass. Great first touch. James Madison. What a save from Edison. Oh, my God. That is our best chance of the game. And it's a fantastic save from Edison. The full-time whistle has gone. And Man City were just too good. They probably could have got three or four more goals in this game. Defensively, really solid. And on the ball... They were just tremendous. Full-time result, Man City 3, Leicester City 0. So after a dreadful episode, we have dropped down to 9th place, still on 26 points. At the top, we have Arsenal on 36 points. Spurs have yet to play their 18th game of the season, so of course they could go back to the top of the table. Man United joined Spurs on 35 points. Liverpool completing the top 4 on 33 points. At the bottom, we've got Sheffield United on 13 points. Southampton and Bournemouth joining them in the relegation zone, both on 16 points. Man City with two more wins in today's episode, now on 22 points and scoring 23 goals. So they're starting to rack up the points and goals now. But is it too late to make a charge towards the top of the table? I think so, but we need to up our game big time and thankfully we are coming up to the January transfer window where we can make some fresh signings next episode doesn't get any easier does it at home to Liverpool and then two days later we are away at West Ham and after that West Ham game I will be doing a squad report so you guys can see who's doing good who's doing bad and leave your suggestions of transfers in and out of the club in the comment section down below so that is going to wrap up today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching guys have an amazing day peace